right, y'all. So I can't make this stuff up. I'm watching the news, and DeSantis, the governor, Florida governor, he says again, look, you will not teach critical race theory in my state of Florida. That's what he said. He said, you're teaching the children to hate. You will not mess up the dignity of the United States. I've just seen this on the news. I'm not making this up. It probably ain't word for word what he said, but it meant what he meant what he meant. You will not mess up the dignity of the United States by teaching them this nonsense. Yeah, that's what he said. He said, I don't know who in the higher powers, who in the United States thought it was good to even introduce critical race theory into our school systems. That's what he said. Oh, DeSantis, he said that. He said you won't teach it in Florida. I couldn't help but think. But y'all talk Hitler? Y'all talk about Hitler? Y'all talked about the Holocaust? That ain't even happened in the United States. You gonna tell us what some other people did in some other place? Tell us what y'all did right here in the United States. The dignity? What dignity? You don't want our young black and brown boys to know? And girls, how y'all treated us? How y'all thought of us as slaves? How y'all made us slaves? You, you don't want them to know that, huh? You don't want them to know how y'all use our breast milk to feed y'all children? I don't say children, but children? Y'all don't want them to know that? Y'all don't want them to know that we cleaned y'all houses? That y'all husbands raped us? Y'all don't want them to know nothing about the past, but y'all want them to know about Hitler. Y'all don't want them to know nothing that they've done. That we cleaned y'all houses, we worked y'all yards, we served y'all dinner tables, we cooked y'all food. Y'all used our men. Y'all treated us like livestock. Like the horses and the cows and the, and the donkeys and the pigs. The dignity of the United States make it make sense. I'll tell you what it is. Y'all don't want history to be revealed because if people are not ignorant to history, then they recognize racism. So when it happens in today's world, they can, they can remember this is what they used to do and they can stop it. Y'all don't want these little kids, these little black and brown boys today because they come from a whole different cloth. Y'all don't have to work in the fields no more, black people. If you want to work out in that hot sun, then do it. But don't do it because you have to. It's because you want to. You don't have to. You don't got to be caged no more. You can be homeowners. You can be business owners. You don't got to work for nobody. No. You can sell houses. You can buy stocks. You can have bank accounts. Yeah. You can, can't nobody hold you back. And what kills me the most is some Uncle Tom type dude. Y'all know what I'm about to say. To come tell me that critical race theory does not need to be taught. For us black people to feel like it's okay to sweep racism under the rug. Because a few of us made it. Because some of us didn't feel... The racism why we were why we were coming up. So because you weren't struck with it by yourself, then you feel like it doesn't exist. We need to get over it. Black people, I know what the problem is. It's something in us, it's something so precious, so rich about a black person. By a black man, by a black woman, the heart of a black person, the mind of a black person, that is something so great that they want to keep us down. They want to hold us, but they cannot hold us. They can't hold us. Mm -mm. Yeah, mm -mm. They can't. They tried to take our names. Yeah, we can't pronounce them names. We just going to call you Nora. 
We can't pronounce them names. We just gonna call you Jimmy. We can't pronounce Akazulu. We can't pronounce Aquisha. We can't pronounce these names. So we're going to change your names. We're going to take your language. We're going to tell you you got to speak proper English. Because what I'm speaking right now isn't considered proper English. But we're going to take that from you. Y'all got to pay attention. Oh, y'all don't get me started. We are precious. Black people, you are precious. You are so much more. They don't want us to know about slavery. They don't want us to know how they hung us, treated us like strange fruit. They don't want us to know how they stole the babies and sold the babies off. They don't want you to know that. They want that to be, oh, because it's the dignity of the United States. Teach them how to read a book. Yeah, that's what he said. That's what the Santa said. I'm, I swear he said it. Sometimes I just wonder, you know, what what's... Black people, if you aren't teaching your children and your grandchildren about racism, if you aren't telling them the truth about what happened in the past, maybe it didn't happen to you, but I don't want you in no way and no day to feel that it won't happen to them. We don't have to allow them to keep their knees and our necks, their feet on our back. No. It's a whole new world, a whole new generation. I ain't here to tell y'all what to do, but I don't. They don't want y'all to teach that racial, that racial um, theory class. You know what I'm trying to say? They don't. They don't want. They don't. They don't want you to know that. Mm -mm. They want you to always be ignorant, so they can continue to do what they do. So they can continue to do modern day slavery. So you won't understand and you won't recognize what it looks like. So if, if, if they're not teaching it where you are, then pick up a book. Open up the internet. Learn about racial injustice. Because right now, today, we deal with it. On it. I'm not here to preach to y'all. I'm just telling y'all what DeSantis said. And I don't mind being black. I don't mind being a woman. I could have took one of them strange names. They gave me Nora, I'm okay with it, but I could have took one of the strange names because I'm proud. I'm proud of being black. I'm proud. That's all I got to say. I'm proud. I'm mad, but I'm proud. I'm mad because I'm mad. I ain't no mad black woman or nothing. I'm just, I'm just not. I'm out.